Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at a handful of quick commands and kind of tricks to speed up drafting when using polylines in your drawings. I get asked about these a lot when I'm working with juniors or anybody's watching me draft. They're always asking how I can do things so quickly or what shortcuts I'm using. So I'm gonna share a handful of those with you guys today. Before we get started, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. It's jam-packed full of tips, tricks, and workflows that are gonna speed up and progress your CAD career quickly. It's easy to get started and available now for a discount for viewers and subscribers by using the link up above or down below. Again, that's my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, which you can get at those links. Now, let's check out today's video. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, a lot of people ask when they see me using these quick commands what they are and how they work. So I'm going to show them to you guys today. These are going to save you a ton of time over weeks, years, or a career of drafting. And these are must know uh, anytime you're working with polygons, polylines, or lines within AutoCAD, anything with vertices that allow you to edit. Uh, these little tricks or shortcuts are gonna save you time. So the main thing is anywhere where you hover over or select one of these vertices, you're gonna get this fly out here with a few options. Using the first letter of any of these options is going to activate it. So hitting R in this case is going to remove that vertex. And in the case of say an edit grip in the middle of two vert vertex, when you hover over it, you're gonna get a slightly different set of commands. But once again, using the first letter of the option you'd like, so C to convert to an arc, is going to quickly activate and use that command. So once again, say I want to delete a vertex, hovering over or kind of selecting one of these points, and quickly hitting R is going to remove it. The same goes for hovering over one of these and hitting A, it's going to let you add a point. And in the case over here, if you wanna to convert to an, uh, an arc, hitting C is going to convert it. And then hovering over and hitting C again is going to allow you to convert back to a line. So this is just a simple trick, but over time, this is gonna save you a ton of clicks and effort when editing your drawings. So once again, simply selecting a polygon, hovering over a vertex, and then tapping the R is going to remove, hovering over a grip or a vertex and hitting A is going to add, and C is going to convert back and forth from an arc or a line. Now, this is just one of a handful of tricks that you can use, but these commands are going to definitely save you time. Another one is learning the commands within the polyline command itself. So typing PL, to start your polyline is gonna allow you to start drawing. But where you can save time is memorizing these commands down here. The main ones being A for arc, that's gonna allow you to quickly start drawing arcs within your line. And then once you're in the A or arc command, using the S command to define the second point or midpoint of your uh, arc is gonna allow you a little bit more control and then hitting L is going to convert back to lines. Now, these are just a few of those commands, but like the first one, memorizing a handful of these short commands or shortcuts are gonna save you time over the long run and in your day-to-day -day drafting. Another one that's nice to use is the CL or C, depending on the command, and that's going to close your polyline or polygon. And then once it's closed and you wanna go back and edit, you can go back and start using those other commands like A, A when you're hovering over here, this grip to add, or over here, say, using the C to convert to arc, which is going to save you time once again. All right, so that's it for today's quick one. I was able to keep it relatively short, but this is a super useful and helpful tip that I hope you guys are gonna stick to and take a bit of time to memorize a few of these shortcuts. Not only do they work with editing and creating polylines, but they're gonna work with polygons and lines as well as a handful of other objects within AutoCAD. So they're worth learning, even if you're only gonna use them occasionally. Again, if you guys haven't checked it out, 
make sure to take a look at my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. Again, that link is up above and down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my new videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.